Magandang umaga mga bata! Welcome to our virtual classroom. Ako si Teacher Amy, ang inyong guro ngayong araw na ito. Ang ating pag-aaralan ay tungkol sa heat energy. Kung bago kayo sa channel na ito, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share para ma-notify kayo sa mga bago nating lessons. So, what is heat? How is heat transferred? Heat is thermal energy moving from a warmer object to a cooler object. Another word for heat is thermal energy. Hot objects contain more thermal energy than cold objects. Which do you think has more thermal energy? And why? Is it the hot chocolate or the ice water? If your answer is hot chocolate, then you're correct. Why? Because hot objects contain more thermal energy than cold objects. So, let's move on to how heat is transferred. Heat is a transfer of energy between objects or particles that are at different temperatures. Let's look at the first picture. Always remember that heat transfer from hot objects to a cooler object. Look at the second picture. The transformation of heat is from your warm palm to an ice cube. And the last picture is, if our boxes touch, the thermal energy will flow from an area of higher energy to an area of lower thermal energy. Eventually, the thermal energy of the boxes will reach equilibrium, that is both boxes will have the same amount of thermal energy and will therefore be at the same temperature. There are three ways that heat can move. So, this is how is heat transfer. We have conduction, convection, and radiation. In conduction, the energy is transferred by direct object. In convection, the energy is transferred by the mass motion of molecules. And in radiation, the energy is transferred by electromagnetic radiation. Thermal energy transfer is a heat moving from a warmer object to a cooler object. There are three ways heat can move. Conduction, convection, and radiation. Let's talk about conduction. The heat is transferred from one particle of matter to another in an object. The energy is transferred by direct contact. Conduction is a transfer of heat from one substance to another by direct contact. It happens within and between objects that touch each other. Let's have an example here. A saucepan on a stove top, metal spoon in a bowl of soup, ice melting in a warm hand, hot shower, and walking on hot coals. Have you ever touch a metal spoon sitting in a pan of boiling water only to be surprised by how hot it is? What conducts heat better? Is it a metal or non-metal? Then why? If your answer is metal, then you are right because metals are good conductors. Objects that heat up easily are called Conductors. Metals are the best conductors of heat. Metal objects feel cold because they conduct heat away from your hand. Objects that do not heat up easily are called insulators. Things like glass, wood, plastic, and rubber are good insulators. Example of conduction as a piece of cheese melts as heat is transferred from the meat to the cheese. So, the energy is transferred by direct contact. 
So now, let's talk about convection. It is the movement that transfer heat within fluids. So what is fluid? It is anything that flows. The heat is transferred by currents within the fluid or gas. Convection is a transfer of heat in liquids and gases only. Heat moves up and down in a circular motion called a convection current. Heated liquids and gases are less dense and rise carrying heat with them. Here are the examples of convection. The hang gliders, soaring birds, home furnace, heating and circulating air. Have you ever noticed that the air on the second floor of your house is warmer than the first floor? Or that water in a pool is cooler at the deep end? So, when the water at the bottom of a pot is heated, its particles move faster and they also move farther apart. As a result, the heated water becomes less dense. A less dense fluid will float on top of a more dense one. Therefore, the heated water rises in the pot. The surrounding cooler water flows into its place. This flow creates the circular motion as seen on the next page which is known as convection currents. Convection currents cause the cooler breezes you experience by a large body of water. These currents also cause the movement of magma within the earth. Now, let's move on to the loss which is the radiation. It is the transfer of energy by waves. The type of waves is called electromagnetic. Radiation does not require matter to transfer thermal energy. Radiation is a transfer of heat through empty space in form of infrared radiation waves, what we think of as heat waves. So examples are blocked up heats up on a sunny day, hot sand on a beach, or electric heaters. So those are radiation. Radiation may come from other sources. Have you ever sat too close to a campfire? You are enjoying the warmth only to notice that your skin is warm. Here are the other examples of radiation, the fire, the heat lamps, and the sun. At dito na nagtatapos ang ating lesson mga bata. Maraming maraming salamat at sinamahan niyo ako sa araw na ito. Huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe. Kung gusto niyong matuto para sa ating susunod na lesson, paalam!